Bom dia. This is uh, day two of um, Amazon experience, and uh, I'm just about to have my breakfast. These are the two daughters of um, of Fabio, and they have uh, Nico. is the one of the favourite pets, and it's quite an uh, important part of the family. Here he is. I want to get to know Nico a little bit more. He's very friendly. He likes to lick stuff and things. Yesterday, uh, I'm getting being given. He doesn't want to come to me. Maybe he's. Oh, come on. No, he doesn't. She's. Uh, I take the string. No sota. No It's okay. He won't like. No. Come. Come. It's okay. Hey, come to me, Nico. Come on. Hey. He doesn't really doesn't want. No, <laughs> he's swinging like Tarzan. <laughs> he really, he's making a fuss. <gasps> I don't want to get him angry because you never know. Monkeys can be unpredictable. He wants to go back to familiarity. Look, <laughs> he's really tugging. Come, Nico. Come. <laughs> See, look. It's like he only wants to be with family. <laughs> okay. Bye. Nico's in my room, look. He's a really cheeky monkey. He's always, he's very, he's only one years old and he's always uh, playing with absolutely everything. He's more inquisitive than humans. We, oui, Nico, come. Hey, take my finger. We, oui, come. You can come to me. Where? Oui, and I don't have any food. We, oui, come. 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 Come to me. Come, Nico. Nico. Oui. <laughs> See, every mechanism, every little thing he investigates. We come, Nico. See, look. I would give you some food if I had some, but I don't have any at the moment. Nico. Ah, oh, he's bored. Funny monkey. Uh, bon dia, good morning. Um, good morning from me and uh, Fabio. So it's day two on the uh, Amazon trip, and uh, Fabio's just going to explain what uh, is in store for us today. What are we doing today, Fabio? Yes, and now, in this morning, I use the plug. The plug to try to catch the, the pico bass. Pico bass. Yes, some type of the, the fish more big and from here. I don't promise to you. No, it's okay. Uh huh. After finish the fish, go to swim the dolphin. Uh, the bottles, Bot the pink dolphins. Pink dolphin, uh -huh. and in Portuguese, boto rosa. Uh -huh. After swim to the boto rosa, return to my house, make lunch. Mm -hmm. And after lunch, return to the boat house to go to sleep in the jungle tonight. Cool. Okay. So I'm looking forward to it. Thank you very much. Nada. Okay, so we've uh, started uh, fishing this morning. Um, it's a different type of fishing. Uh, we're fishing uh, with a plug which is like a, uh, a fake fish that moves like a fish in the water. It has a couple of uh, treble hooks in it. Um, I do, I've done this type of fishing in uh, the UK but I use a, a rod and a reel um, to cast out and to, to reel in whereas uh, Fabio's got this ingenious method of um, he acts as rod and reel and uh, generally he's actually pretty accurate, I think he's just got in a, a tree there. Ah, there we go, he's back again. So uh, he reels it in with his hands, as you can see, as the plug coming in, and he casts it out with his, uh, sort of his hand and arm. Um, if he catches a big fish, I mean, uh, it'll be interesting to see how he will get it in. I mean, I wouldn't want to do that because I thought that the nylon would tear into your hands if it was a, a fish of any size. But uh, 
anyway, I guess Fabio so far, uh, he's done everything pretty right. Uh, so I just had to see what happens. Um, yeah, anyway, this is the the setting. Another part of the Amazon rainforest, very beautiful. It's in the morning. It's uh, what's the time, Fabio? About eight, eight, nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock now. Um, so yeah, that's a bit of a. Uh, Amazon plug fishing. You know, uh, there's virtually nobody here, you know, because it's such a large expanse of river and dense forest, but you don't get lots of people here, so you can literally, we're, you know, it feels like we're here, we've got this entire part of the river system forest to ourselves, which is quite amazing, really. Look at it all. So we're here with the uh, bothos now, and um, Fabio's showing me how to, I don't know, feed them and, and uh, swim with them, I guess. So these are the pink dolphins of the Amazon River. They're, they look a bit different to perhaps most of the dolphins we're used to. But uh, they're still quite beautiful creatures. There's another one down here. Baby. It's a little baby, this one. And here's, here's all the bait. Here's the environment. Here's the place that we're from. So I'm going to start feeding them in a moment. Here's the water. Like this? Yeah. Look, those. See the the water's got quite a lot of iron in it, so there's like this sort of brown colour. But um, maybe you'll better see it. Just see. Okay, so I think uh, some kids have just come back from the school bus and they're walking home. This is how they walk home. They don't make a fuss, they seem to know what they're doing. This kid's probably going to drive the, his uh, motorboat home. Um, yeah, this is the school bus leaving. Uh, this kid's probably waiting for his pay, his father. And uh, this is Fabio coming back. So, uh, yeah, it's just a an interesting way of life.
Is this the um, school? A school? Bus? Yeah, the school bus. Yes, yeah, the school bus. The, the school is far away from here, about uh, 10 kilometers. Oh, okay. And then every day the government to give the bus. Yeah. In the morning, in the evening, in the night. Okay, and always for education or for all kinds of reasons? For, mm, for just transportation in general? Transportation. To to but these school. kids are going back, they live over here? <laughs> they go back to the house, they live outside. the side. Yeah? The island. And they're pretty self-sufficient and they know what to do, right? Yeah. As in they understand where to go. In England, everyone's, or everywhere, I guess, everyone's really careful about everything, you know? Yeah, yeah. Like, whereas here in the middle of the rainforest, yeah. everyone's pretty cool. Yeah. That's a Brazilian way to be cool. It's good to the boy, make a pile in to transport to your house and make a good exercise. Yeah, it's good exercise. Yeah. Oh, okay, so this is like another bus. This is the boat bus. And they're going to go somewhere else. Hola. Interesting life. So I think uh, Nico is feeling a little bit more sociable a few more hours later on. Or oh, he wants something. He probably thinks I've got some food. So uh, here's an opportunity to uh, say hello to him. Hello. Say hello to the internet. Ooh. What have you been doing today? It's a bit of a shame he's tied up here. But he's only tied up here for a little bit during the day. And then they let him out um, in the evening. It's really sweet the way they hold on. So tight. Hey, Nicky. Wait. Wait, look. Here. Hey, what are you looking at? Come here, look. I want to see your face. How sweet. Look. Huh? You want to climb up a little bit more? Ah, oh, he's finished. Hey, Nick, Nick, look. <laughs> hey, get a selfie. This is a selfie. Let me get a selfie with you. You stay here. Hello, so, um, yeah, I'm in the jungle now. Um, me and Fabio took a uh, about a 40 minute journey uh, up the river. And then uh, uh, up a load of river estuaries. Um, perhaps a bit longer than that. It took about 40 minutes on the main river and then 20 minutes up a load of estuaries. Uh, uh, so it's just me and me and Fabio, me and my guide. Um, I've got no idea where I am. Um, I'm quite excited to actually be experiencing this because it's a really you know, awesome opportunity to see nature and the Amazon. Uh, rainforest and everything else but it is a little bit scary to think I'm just relying on uh, Fabio um, if anything happened to him I think I'd be pretty screwed <laughs> because we're in such a remote place and I could never find my way back from this place so it makes you start thinking uh, you know what you'd have to do in order to try and get yourself out of such a mess um, but anyway uh, the best part the best thing to do is just enjoy it and assume Fabio will be fine um, Fabio's just gone to get some uh, kindle, some leaves to light the fire. We just went into a part of the forest and identified some dry wood to start the campfire with. Um, we'll soon be uh, making something to eat. Uh, it's really very hot here as you'd expect. It's uh, the Amazon, it's extremely humid. I'm pretty much drenched in my own body uh, sweat. Um, as you can see, it's getting uh, dark. Um, should be dark perhaps in the next 45 minutes to an hour. Um, you can probably hear all those, uh, you know, there's thousands of creatures that are, uh, uh, make this ambience of noise. It's uh, amazing. Um, yeah, Fabio's just returned, always with a machete in his hand. Um, I guess that's about it for the meantime. Uh, I guess I'll check in a bit later on. Cheers then, bye bye. So I'll just show you around. Uh, so yeah, here's uh, just our few camping bits. 
Um, here are the hammocks. So that far one's mine. I don't quite like being on the outskirts of the uh, forest, but I'm sure Fabio's got my best interests at heart. Um, this is where Fabio will be sleeping. There's this centre piece of wood is used for a tarpaulin if it rains, but Fabio doesn't think it's going to rain tonight, so um, we haven't set that up. That's it there, but we're not going to use it. Um, might use that tomorrow night if it rains. Um, Fabio's over here cutting something with a, his fame, the most favourite tool of all Amazon people is a machete. What are you doing with this? Make a stick to pull the sausage. To put the what, sorry? I make a stick yeah. for the sausage to put in the fire. Oh, for the, oh what's, okay, I understand. Cool. So there, this is the uh, makeshift um, cooking area. This is our kitchen, I guess. There's a, a table and stuff and some candles. This is our food tonight. Some sausages, sardines, rice, um, various sardines. Oh yeah, I said that already. Yeah, so anyway, it's a few bits and pieces. There's a pot with some water. There's actually a some a water pool down there. Um, Fabio collected some clean water from earlier. These are some eggs for tomorrow that have already only been down here for probably about five minutes, and there's probably about a thousand million ants around them. Uh, obviously, yeah, here's the fire. Um, Fabio's made this a load of this rice in there with butter and garlic and some other bits and pieces, uh, so that should be ready soon. Um, and uh, yeah, this is pretty, pretty, this is pretty much where we're gonna spend the night. Um, it's pretty cosy. Uh, I'm glad the sun's gone down. I don't feel so hot now. Um, and uh, yeah, that's about it. Bye bye. Okay, so I'm making my uh, final uh, update on day two. Um, I'm just in my hammock now, as you can probably see behind me. And here, I've got my shoes, which I'll check in the morning for stuff, and my water, some insect repellent. Fabio is uh, over here. Um, fire's still going, but we can probably go out as a candle going. Obviously, you can just see that we're in a rainforest. Um, yeah, surrounded by nature. Uh, that's about it. Uh, Benoit. Benoit.